Hi guys, Jim here from a and Suds and Such and I'm getting ready to cut my patchouli soap that I made yesterday. Um, I went ahead this morning and um, cut the logs and then we had to go to my husband's mamaw's house and we just got back. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a sofa cut. So there's my mini bars. Get those over there out of the way. And here's one of my logs. Isn't that top pretty? I really like it. Um, there's an inside piece. I'm excited to see how the swirls turned out. I did a drop swirl. I need to tighten that. Oh my! Look at that. Look at them swirls. Lots and lots of swirls. Tighten this some more. Which the soap's pretty firm. It's been over 24 hours. Oh, that is just cool. Um, there are some glycerin rivers. Not many. I come in to check it after, I don't know, hour and a half or two hours after I poured it. And it was really hot to the touch on top. So um, I grabbed it and stuck it in the refrigerator. Luckily my mold fit because <laughs> I wasn't for sure if it was going to fit and it did. And I left it in there for about two hours or so and then I brought it out but I'll show you there are a few glycerin rivers in there not many they turned out really nice I caught it before it got bad before it got too hot I mean but it was it was really warm to the touch and I was like oh I gotta cool this soap down so yeah I love how the top turned out and the delicate swirls in there. There's my top. Very pretty. My allergies are acting up. We've been outside all day, just about. So cool. Pixie, quit attacking my legs. Very nifty. Swirls. I'm liking it. The black is not overpowering so far. And you guys seen, I did not have a whole lot of black in this soap out of that great big pot. I just did two of those pitchers. Those little pitchers. You can see how much the black will overtake a soap. Next time I may only do one or one and a half of those pitchers. That's cool. nice. I just like a drop swirl. The simplicity and how, I mean, the design in each bar is so different. Make sure I got that right. 
Yeah, I got it. This one is a very thick in slice. Not sure what I did there. This swirl on top is beautiful. I love how the swirl on that one turned out. And this is a center, uh, this is the center soap, I think, out of the slab. You know, you've got the swirls on all three sides. Look at that. It's a little black. It's kind of cool. So I should be stocked on patchouli for a while, which I'm completely out now, so it'll be several weeks before these are ready. The next one I think I'm making is my cool water soap. I have one bar of it left. That's just nifty looking. It's one of my best sellers with the patchouli. And I normally do a zebra stripe, so we're going to attempt to do the zebra stripe in the mold, in the slab mold, you know, the three. We will see how that works out. I'm going to try it. If not, it's okay. It will be similar. That's nice. Very nice. Very pleased with how this one turned out. And this bar right here may be my favorite on top. Look at that. I'll show you. Isn't that, isn't that pretty on top? I love that. Oh no, this next one has a gorgeous swirl too on top. Nice wispy swirls, which took me a long time to pour it because I didn't want great big thick swirls or thick areas of black. So, you know, I took my time pouring it, which is not easy in that big of a mold because I'm holding like, you know, um, Probably like 14 pounds of soap in that one big container with the other two poured off. It's because it's just over, um, it's like 16 and a half, 17 pounds, somewhere around in there. So, real hefty. Heavy, heavy. Last one. I'll have lots and lots of samples. I'll have lots of mini bars. That's cool. Oh, look at the swirl on the top of that one. That was an end slice. Isn't that pretty? I like that. I just happened to look and see that and I was like, oh, that's cool. Yay. Very, very happy. And I'm very glad I caught it because I'd say if I would have left this out without trying to cool it down, because it, it went through full gel, even though I put it in the fridge. Um... The Glycerin Rivers probably would have been horrendous, and you can see in that bar right there, um, they probably would have been way worse. I just come in here and I felt it and I was like, oh my. So, pop.
pop that baby in the fridge. And it was just my luck that it fit right on top of the pop. <laughs> show you. Sorry. You get me all excited. Not even showing you the bar. That'd be alright. Ooh. Prettiness. I've had a request from Divine Lights. Divinely Lights, I think. Um, I've not looked at the email recently on how I package my cupcakes and stuff. So I will, when I, that big spa order, when I start packaging it, I will do a video to show you guys um, how I package my cupcakes and cakes. I'm thinking about possibly doing my cakes different than what I do now. Um, I have not decided because the way I wrap my cupcakes and my minis especially, the soap can breathe. So I could wrap it now if I wanted. Last bar. So I'm thinking of doing a different way of cutting um, the, uh, or not cutting, of wrapping the cupcakes in cakes and um, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I've not decided. Mm, we'll just be a big sample. Alright everybody, so that is my patchouli soap cut. And um, as most of you guys know from watching my other videos, I have a giveaway going on on my Facebook page. So if you have not um, went over there and liked me, please do so. I had somebody say that they could not find me on Facebook. Well, the link is always down in the description box. All you have to do is click read more, drops down, right there's the link to my Facebook page. All you gotta do is click it. Takes you straight to me. No searching required. So, I'm going to get this soap put up out of the way and I am done for the night it is almost eight o'clock I have got laundry that I need to do so thanks everybody for watching and thanks for everybody that so far has commented about my uh, giveaway that I'm doing because um, I've hit 500 likes on my Facebook page thank you thank you so, uh, I look forward to seeing you guys over there, and we'll be back for another video.